Hello, Your Honor, and welcome back from the weekend. Well, overcast and probably very pensive today, maybe even chatty. In fact, there's a potential chance of falling into some old mind games today. The moon is in Sagittarius, which means your emotions, the moon, are working side by side with your intellect. Which, by the way, does not always happen. Sometimes our mind is running off this way, our heart's running off that way. Well, once a month, the universe puts them together and forces them to talk. And this is the time where you can get more clear than usual on how you're feeling. You're in a great position to articulate that. So once you can crystallize, hey, I'm angry, you can tell someone, hey, I'm angry. This is the best transit, frankly, to journal, to blog, to have an important conversation with someone that you care about, and to get things off your chest. The zipper on the Sun and Taurus. We're in Chapter 3 of Sun and Taurus as of Sunday. The topic this month for Librans is all of your trust and intimacy issues, when you trust, when you don't trust, when you open your doors, when you don't open your doors, kind of summarizing. In chapter one, I was saying to Librans, it's time to kind of do an audit and see, are you letting other people define your boundaries or are you defining your boundaries? That was a big question right there. Who's in control, you or the world? In chapter two, I wanted you to do a soul capital transit to really look at your trust and intimacy issues and evaluate them and assess them. There are some that you're probably very proud of. There were some that you thought needed work, and I encourage you to go ahead and do some work or come up with solutions for the ones that did need work. The reason why this is all important is because Taurus defines our self-esteem. And for Librans, if their trust and intimacy issues are not in order, they don't feel good about themselves in life. That's where Libra's like, eh, should I, should I, eh, should I, should I, get stuck in that, not knowing where to draw the line. Now they're moving into chapter three, Libra. It's time to go out and create the new trust and intimacy laws that you so desire. And this may also include really connecting and trusting God universe. A lot of people go through a very religious transit in this particular month when the sun's in their eighth house, really learning to trust God or forgive God, especially if someone's reincarnated in a surprising way off of or out of your life. Either way, in the next nine days, we're going to be working on what are the best boundaries for me and how do I light cast those and help them have those aid to me feeling good about myself. One last thing, for those of you with Libra Risings, the same is true, but the decisions you come up with in the next nine days about trust and intimacy, these are probably decisions you've been contemplating for a long time because your rising sign is your entire lifetime story. The sun sign is where you are right now. So if you are a Libra Rising and you're making some changes, you probably have considered it for some time and you're finally ready to execute it. All right, that's all I have for Monday. I'll see you folks tomorrow with more. Live, love, be. So